centre here. Our focal point is end game opening. We are wanting to either get to the king to suffocate the king or to remove pieces from the board so that they have enough and basically resign. So just make some space for the king. King safety, as usual, all the basics. We need to maintain those. Just keeping it nice and safe. Let's castle. So if you feel in your game that you cannot manage the end game opening because you believe that it's impossible, then that's fair enough. But it's the smallest of details in the change in the mindset that sets out the difference between an average player and the person who beats the average player. It's going to push on to the bishop now. Because in the physicality of things, a normal person looking at the game now they're going well you're just doing a normal opening and it looks like x y and z but the mindset behind this opening is to attack critical pieces on the board remove critical pieces on the board weak spaces weak areas weak pieces etc or to suffocate the king area have a focal point on that we're not interested in dancing in the center with the pawns and trying to get a little bit of a strength going up a file for no reason whatsoever or to attack a pawn or just to get a gain more material that's not what we're about it's got to be critical captures that are going to help us really incur high high value advantages critical factor is pushing onto this bishop because it's giving us space and knights do hunt the bishops in our mantra Let's chase this bishop. Okay, and let's continue with the capturing of a critical piece as far as we're concerned. Doubles the pawns up. So it's a smallest of incremental type of developments that we're looking at here. I'm going to pin through to the queen. So attacking two pieces, the knight and the queen. As you can see, the pieces that we've got are towards the king area at the moment. But we're not rushing to get them we're looking at incremental steps towards either taking these critical pieces off the board or getting a better placement for ourselves I'm going to bring the bishop back in fact no i'm actually just going to take this knight off the board so just bring the knight across so now we've got this file in front of the kick queen to operate with let's attack a critical piece the bishop so each step we're taking we're, we're sort of trying to force the opponent to do stuff that they don't want to do like this poor bishop, it's not even got out of the gate yet and it's been attacked. The opponent's got his knight and his queen in front of our king Gary, so you could take that as a positive for them. But are they working together? When you have pieces working too close together, sometimes they end up suffocating themselves. So they've gone into a deep thing so where are we looking we want to smother the king area or take a critical piece off of the board that improves our advantage on the board simple really but it's how you do it it's the appropriate targeting 
of weak areas, weak pieces and choosing the high priority weak area. So they've captured, we've just captured that. So this feels fairly okay. We have a bit of strength. They've got double pawns there, but like I say, for us, double pawns isn't much of an issue because you can make it work for you if you work your rooks together to help support them. Looks like the opponent's signal's not too good. It's showing that he's left the game again. Don't think this. Yeah, it's back again. It's okay. So what do they want to do? They've got the knight. They've got the queen in front of our king area. Are they looking to exchange off the queen or bring the knight to this outpost here? Is he trying to get a rook rover going? Future tense. Because at the minute they're just acting as blockers. So there's no major attack on our king area. So that's like a reversal of the process that we're attempting to do. So it might be a bit slow for them if they're just going to keep their pieces there. I think he has something wrong with his connection because he keeps flicking on and off. I'll pause it and see if he comes back. Okay, so they did move and they've moved back. So that's quite interesting. Let's see what we can do. Could develop our knight to get into the action. Could look. Could attack the pawn here with the queen. But then it's easily defended really isn't it so I'm going to bring the knight through here see if we can get a combination attack they could be looking to use these small pawns to either shoo the queen away but the more they do that there'll be space around the back of these pawns to be able to put pressure on the king area so he's running with the knight this knight wants to come here potentially to attack the pawn but we can bring the queen here now attack his pawn it's a a little bit of a treat because uh, yes I just thought if they come and attack we just have to bring back here but now the rook is off the back rank so again making them do stuff that they don't really want to do could make it easy for them to double up but it's doubling up behind their own pawn so now he's only got one rook on the back so we could look to try and take advantage of that situation so they're slightly disjointed in terms of their attack process. And the knight has gone on the back. So that makes for an interesting situation. I'm going to bring our knights. So as you can see, our knight is slowly but surely trying to creep up towards the king area. Got this, um, well, pr protected rook, but could sit quite nicely here as I say if he drops these put this pawn or any pawn it's weakening his king area even more it's brought the knight down so like we said just going to jump into this square here attacking the rook but then it's also attacking key key pawn in front of the king also this pawn here fairly strong knight So, yep, so they've moved the rook. Fairly strong knight, fairly comfortable with that. Could look to... F 
fairly happy with this position really. Hmm. Let's just push this pawn here. Oh, and he's moved dead quick. So have we run out of moves? I'm going to have to do lazy man. Lazy man chess for now, and they're moving really fast now. So I think we can make them hopefully pay the price for that. It's looking to take here, we take. So if we can bring the rook here, then we will have this file. So they're playing like it's a blitz match, but we now own a very critical, important file. As we know, rooks do like the open file, so he's looking to trade off. if I bring my rook here we can maintain still the ownership of the file if his rook takes knight takes bring our rook here it does take so we'll grab we're also on a pawn in the corner slow incremental developments taking off critical pieces obviously the rook is going to come and attack the knight Like we said, we just bring the rook here to defend. Then I suppose his queen can come and defend. Our queen is defending our rook. Because he needs something to support this pawn as well. So, just bring that across. Can expect the queen to attack the knight, like we said. So he's pushed down with his pawn. Hmm. I'm going to push past this pawn because he's got two double pawns here. So let's take advantage and block them. So basically that's like one pawn he's got. So it's the slightest of advantages in terms of pawn structure. We've got an extra pawn. What's this fancy knight move? Let's grab this pawn. Time's running short now, so I just need to take stuff off the board. And it's taken. It's moving really fast now. It's on my pawn at the bottom. Uh, let's put a check on the king, take his queen off. He doesn't do that, let's take his queen off. Takes with the pawn, let's push this pawn up. They're on one minute, so a lot of time they've used up, but we need to improve our position, see if we can get some pawns past somewhere. And looks like this will help us. <clears throat> so he's going to have to bring his knight back to actually attack maybe this pawn, obviously. And just grab this pawn here with the knight. So he's attacking the back, so... Will he be fast enough with his knight? Probably so might be a sacrifice situation because our knight can take his knight if he captures this pawn so if he wants to chase our pawn down he's going to have to dance one two three and it's two moves to get promotion so he's not going to be fast enough so that's end game opening
attacking the critical areas, the critical pieces, critical spaces to reduce down. We went for the attempt at smothering the King area and didn't see any further developments towards the King area. So then we attacked critical pieces on the other side of the board, which allowed us to get more powerful material. So it's grabbed, so we might as well take that off the board. And get the promotion. And once again, let's just grab here. And they resigned. <laughs>